Hey guys, today we are looking at a really cool Bowie knife. So, you guys know I love the Bowie knives, uh, whether it be something modern like the Cold Steel SRK, I have this one here in San Mai, um, or something classic, like again, another Cold Steel, like the Cold Steel Wild West Bowie, you know, a very classically designed knife. Today we are looking at a more classically designed knife in the Bear and Son Gold Rush Bowie, and this is the mid-size. <clears throat> So let's go into the specs in this knife, and we will uh, we'll get into what I like, what I dislike, and something unique about the knife. But first, let's talk about the specs. So we are talking about a 16 ounce blade, 16.4, uh, I believe is the exact. Um, I believe that includes the sheath as well, because this is a relatively lightweight knife. It does not feel very heavy in hand. Actually, feels very very light in hand. Uh, seven and three eight uh, seven and point seven and three eighths inch. Blade, uh, overall 12 inch is in length, uh, five millimeter, I believe it looks to be about five millimeter. They don't have that listed on their website, uh, but five millimeter thickness blade, if it's not five millimeters, it's right right around that. Uh, we have this brass S guard right here, brass inlays, and then we have a Coca Bolo handle. And so, uh, yeah, good, look at that handle, that's awesome. Let's get that to focus. Man, that is beautiful. <clears throat> so, let me remind you to like and subscribe while we're looking at this awesome handle. And let's get into it and what I like. And the first thing I love about this knife is the look, right? This is a beautiful knife, right? This is just a classically, classically designed Bowie knife. And that's what it's made to be, right? It's not made to be a modern style. It's not made to be a modern interpretation. This is a classic Bowie knife, okay? And that's, that's what you're getting. Um, along with that classic style, you're getting modern materials, right? One thing I didn't mention in specs is this blade is 12C27N, which is uh, a really, really interesting choice for a Bowie knife steel. A lot of times you'll see Bowie knives like this in a carbon steel, uh, but that is a Swedish stainless steel. Uh, it's going to hold a decent edge. It's going to be okay. Uh, going to have nice stain resistance, going to be plenty tough. So it's, it's a really interesting choice, um, especially for an American made, that's right, American made. Bowie knife, pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I just love the looks of this knife, right? Like I think this is beautiful. The fit and finish overall is probably about a seven and a half. It's got nice fit and finish. Um, you know, there are some not perfect, some tiny little gaps here and there, uh, but this is a production Bowie knife that you're getting for around a hundred bucks. So they also have a larger version, which it has about a 10 inch blade. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I think this is beautiful. This is just a, a nicely, nicely presented knife. Um, and I, I love this classic design. What else do I like? Well, going along with the style of this, the classic style, this blade, it's a classic Bowie blade. Who doesn't love it, right? Especially something like this with this nice belly right here, guys. Um, just that nice sweeping clip point right there. I love the style of this blade. I mean, it just makes me smile looking at this, this design. What else do I like? Well, I like this guard. Yes, it has a top guard. You guys know I like to cut my top guards off if they come with them. That's why I prefer something kind of like the Cold Steel SRK without a top guard. Why? It's easier to get up close on something like that, right? It's easier to do fine detail work. But this is a classic style. And it's still going to be able to do the tasks that you would want it to if you're going to use it outdoors, if it's not going to be like a showpiece or kind of like a, if you're into, you know, Bowie knife fighting. Um, Still going to be able to do all that stuff. Not too unwieldy to be able to do that. And you could also take a Dremel to that and cut that off if you really wanted to. So I've done that on quite a few knives, actually. So I, I like this guard, though. I think it's cool, mostly because it's classic. And, it, you know, that's definitely going to keep your hand from, from riding up on that blade, right? This, these were meant as fighting knives, and, you know, that's meant to trap a blade whenever people fought with big knives. Um, but you could cut that off. Worse comes to worse, right? Another thing I love about this knife, we talked about it, but this handle is beautiful, right? We talked about the styling, okay, let's get this to focus. We talked about the styling a bit, right? But I think not only is this handle just really pretty, but also this handle is just, it's so nicely contoured, right? A lot of the, the issues I've had with knives that have flat handles like this, more kind of rectangular handles, is they're not contoured well and so they're squared. And a squared handle is just not comfortable for for you know for long term use. This has been so nicely rounded and that it just really fits your hand. It fits your hand beautifully. So I, not only do I love the look of that Coca Bolo, I think that this feels amazing in the handle. There is one negative I have about the handle. It's the only negative I have about the knife, and we will get to that in a little bit. So. <clears throat> I like the handle, I like the blade, I like the guard, I like the overall design. Last thing I like, 
this sheath is so awesome, right? This is just a fantastic sheath. It is, it's just classic leather, nice and thick, um, nicely stitched, right? Um, it just got this classic loop. You know, it's just, it's just a nicely well executed leather sheath that fits with the overall style of the knife. Really like the sheath. Great choice. I don't have any neutral points on this, and my only negative point is going to be something that's very subjective, and it's really just a negative for people who have big mitts like I do. So, the way my hand fits in this actually fits just closely enough. If my hand was any thicker, you guys know I have thick hands, it would not be able to fit in there, right? It's just on the verge. If you do any chopping with a knife that fits your hand like this, that has a lip on the back, and there is no room for movement whatsoever, that is going to batter your pinky like crazy. Reason I don't have an issue with it on a knife like this is because the centrifugal force might pull back, right? But the, because I have room for movement here, that isn't so strong when I chop with this that it's gonna hurt my pinky because my hand has room to move, right? That's good, that's good. Same thing with this Ontario SP1. I have room to move, right? If I come back here and I use this in a, in a thwacking motion, the centrifugal force is pulling back, yes, onto my pinky, but because there's room for my hand to move, it's not gonna batter my pinky, right? The issue with a knife like this, where there is a lip and your hand just fits, is that the centrifugal force stays on your pinky the entire time and there's no room to alleviate that, that, that pressure on your finger. So, that is the only issue I have with a knife it just so happens that that's just a function of a design of a knife like this, right? A knife that's going to have this size handle with this kind of overall presentation. If you want to keep that classic style with that lip, that's just what's going to happen. So is it the knife's fault? No, it's not the knife's fault. It's my fault, I guess, my genetics for having, you know, such, such big hands. So what I would say is, uh, you know, what's the unique thing about this knife? Well, obviously, it's just a classically, it's an American-made Bowie knife of high-quality materials and of good fit and finish. That's the unique thing about this knife because you just don't see many knives like this that are affordable. You know, you're talking around 100 bucks. That's just not a bad deal for the materials and the fit and finish you're getting. The caveat I would have to recommending this is if you have thick hands. If you have thick hands get your hands on one of these things, see if it feels good. If it feels good, you think you can deal with that and you wanna use it, that's kind of the caveat as well, go for it. If you don't if you don't intend on using this outdoors or for any utilitarian tasks and you just like, is it a nice knife to look at, to, to, um, to have in a display case? Absolutely, go for it 100%, doesn't matter the size of your hands. But if you're gonna use this at all, make sure that your hands are not too large. So I'd absolutely recommend it if one, you just intend to look at it. It's just going to be a display piece. It's going to be great for that. Um, two, if you intend on using it, make sure you have, let's let's say, like medium to small hands. If you do, I think this will actually be a fantastic uh, workhorse of a knife. And you won't mind a kind of beating it up because it's not terribly expensive. So what I recommend it, absolutely. With that caveat, with those caveats, make sure you kind of think about that. Maybe get your hands on one if you can. Um, and just kind of hold it, see how it feels. But overall, I really love this knife. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think the design, the uh, athlete, the um, you know ergonomics, even with that that uh, handle lip, still very nice. The handle is beautiful. Design is overall beautiful, and the sheath is awesome as well. So. I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe, but let me know if you guys have handled one of these things. What do you think of it? Because um, I think I'd really be interested to know what you guys have to say in the comments. Because I, I haven't seen many reviews on these, and I think this is kind of a, a kind of a slept on uh, knife design that, that could have a lot of popularity if if more people knew about it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.